The collision between the Humboldt Broncos bus and a semi left 16 people dead and 13 injured. The crash prompted an international outpouring of support and a multi-million dollar fundraising campaign for the victims' families. The collision also prompted calls for justice. The semi driver faces 16 counts of dangerous driving causing death. And finally, the crash prompted calls for change. Experts say semi drivers should be required to take training. It's currently optional everywhere except Ontario. Saskatchewan and Alberta will make it mandatory next year. Slower down, take your brakes or force. But in Saskatchewan, farmers will be exempt and critics say most provinces have no plan at all. A University of Saskatchewan professor says this emerging patchwork of provincial regulations makes no sense. Many of Canada's 300,000 semi-drivers haul loads across the country. He says the federal government needs to step in. Every province right now has a different guideline, which means the, um, uh, the licensing regulations are different. And so you might have potentially unsafe drivers who might still get a license just because of the framework of the system. Stephen Bobby was killed in a semi-collision last year. His widow, Patty, started a petition demanding federal training for semi-drivers. It has gained momentum following the Humboldt crash and has now reached 1,200 names. How long does it take to get something like this going? It's pretty basic. Like, how long do we debate this for years, or do we actually do something about it? Federal Transport Minister Mark Garneau was not available for an interview. An official in his office said they do favour mandatory training, but wouldn't say whether the federal government should take over. She said Minister Garneau plans to raise the issue with his provincial counterparts in January. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Saskatoon.